lay down a, a chord, a progression, or just a chord? And, just a chord sound. And do our pedigree. And make your own kind of emotional inventory like we did together. But what's this mean to me? Can I use it to start a solo, in the middle of a solo, end a solo? They all seem to be very purposeful. And that's, and that's, that's how... That's how I think of things. Like today, we walk in, I get to be with David, I get to be with all of you. I'd probably go right for the happy sound of swing. <laughs> right <laughs> swing to, the, to the E note, you know, because that's the feeling. And then, like I said, another another occasion, it might be kind of like, what kind of place is this? <laughs> why, why do they have, why, if it's a place where they play music, why do they have 17 televisions? <laughs> toward a ninth or a, maybe a, or a flat and fifth, something a little bit more yeah. ambiguous. Say, what will look this up? <laughs> anyway, I didn't mean to go so far off in that direction. No, that's, a, that's awesome stuff right there. <laughs> but I, I guess it's part of this uh, thing about don't play the melody, play your own melody, play another melody. And when I'm building melodies, it's usually about the starting point. So if I start with one of those specific intervals, then I have to find my way back. It's like in the old days when we used to talk to Vassar about, you know, Vassar, do you, you, know, you guys know the Vassar Clemens? <laughs> yeah. Vassar, do you, uh, do you read music? No, I can't, I can't read music. Goes, well, what do you do? You know, like, where does all that stuff come from? He says, I paint myself in the corner and I try to get out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, he would, you can hear a lot of the notes that he plays. I don't know if I would qualify them as wrong, but they're very unusual choices. He goes, he gets it, he literally did what he said. You get in some really, really funny spots, and then the release from that, coming back out of it, could, could really be. You know. I had a buddy that was in session with Vassar, and uh, he was playing, playing solos, and they, you know, he recut his solo, and everybody's sitting there in the cube with the, with the headphones on, and. And, you know, he popped off the set phone. You couldn't hear the track. You just heard Vassar playing. He was sitting there listening to Vassar thinking, well, yeah, I'll have to do that again. Because <laughs> it's wrong. You know, yeah. it's just dead wrong. Yeah. You know? when, it came, <laughs> when it came to the track, it was right. Yeah, but hearing it by itself, it was just all, it was all the wrong notes. You know, yeah. it just uh, seemingly did, wouldn't fit, but it did. He used a lot of color tones, a lot of tensions, and uh, and, and he approached uh, his bluegrass playing almost like a like a jazz player. Absolutely. Uh, and Monroe kind of, you know, he kind of did that same sort of thing with uh, with diversifying, getting away from the melody. And, you know, he used intervals like that. There's your. Uh, there's a minor second there, E flat and E together. Beautiful. Sometimes that's the great thing about it. Uh, just to take one step back, where we 
talking about kind of the emotional value of the various degrees of this. Is that kind of like they handle, how to get a handle on using different modes? Do you kind of get a feel for the emotional value of the given mode expresses? Well, uh, we haven't really talked about modes at all. I no, no I wanted. I'll, 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 I just have a brief response to, to that um, because again, I, I'm a very simple-minded person. So the way I relate to modes is that modes chords and scales are all the same thing and they are batches of tones so if the tune is in C and you have a, a, hopefully everybody relates to, to chord progressions by number at some level right so if we're talking about a 1 4 5 progression right that would be C F and G right? so the C chord has the notes of the C scale in it the F chord has the notes of the F scale in it. The G or G7 has the notes of the G7 chord in it. Right? Everybody's with me so far? Okay. You can take that chord number one, C, whatever that batch of tone it, tones is, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, the classical guys call that the Ionian mode. It's still the C major scale, and if you take the, the chord tones out of it, it's a C major chord. If you go to the to, to degree number four, and you get that once it goes from F to F, it's still the same C major scale tones, but from F to F. Then what do they call that? Lydian. 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 That's the Lydian mode. And of course, G7 is the Mixolydian mode. So to my way of thinking, and you know, I know I'm not at the level I should be about all these things, but there, there are different names for the same thing. So you want to just pick one of those names and, and utilize it as, as best you can. But to me, it all comes back to batches of tones. What notes sound good with this chord? So they're all notes of the C scale, but different starting points. Different starting points. Yeah, I'll show you one. Uh, uh, the 